off to summer. Everybody's going to be going to the beach or you're going to be heading to the mountains. And you know what? We're going to be taking a lot of pictures when we're out there. So we wanted to bring in a professional photographer whose work is well known around the city of Charlotte. I mean, the picture behind me here over my shoulder just speaks volumes. Uh, this is Chris Austin, uh, really one of the best photographers in the city. And so we brought him in to offer some tips to you about how to take great photos this summer. No matter where you go, most of you are going to be traveling with your iPhone. You're not going to have the sophisticated equipment he has. So what would be your first tip to someone? Um, photography is all about capturing light. So building your scene, um, an ideal scene in that regard is key. The worst possible light source in the world in the universe is the sun. So keep, right. it, keep it out of the way in all regards. Keep it out of your scene, keep it off your folks, off your people that you're shooting. It creates uh, really harsh light and dark shadows. Yeah. So, on a bright sunny day, move your folks into the shade. And shoot them in move the them into the shade and, and shoot. Always shoot with the sun at your back. If you have to be in the sun, yeah, it's better to have them behind the photographer, illuminating your subjects. Yeah. And behind you. Explain That's to people what the golden hour is. That is the hour around sunrise and sunset, um, and where you get all awesome colors in the sky. Yeah, I mean, if you the harsh sun is yeah, gone. Well, look, look at that. You can tell that the picture there on the screen was taken, you know, not with the sun directly overhead at high noon. That's correct. So if you're that's a different, some, yeah, that's if you're going to shoot some <laughs> landscapes, you don't shoot them at high noon or one o'clock or two o'clock. That's correct. Yeah, the golden um, hour is ideal. Yeah, um, people who shoot like this instead of like this, I know it's the bane of our existence too. Drives me nuts. Because yeah. Because when people tweet video and when people say they're always handing their their phone is like this instead of like this. Exactly. We always try to tell people, do you watch TV like this or That's do you right. watch it like That's this? Exactly right. and, but when they watch a movie, they're holding their phone just like this. Right. Not like this. They lose a lot of resolution. You know, if we're talking 1920 by 1080. Right. We have all just taken their cool 1920 video and crammed it into our 19 or 1080 display. So yeah. they essentially cut the resolution. Well, it's not to say that taking a picture like this, if this is what you want to do, like the right. Washington Monument, something exactly. like that. Exactly, a tall something building. Something that offers something very tall. Or even a, a portrait of one person, yeah, that makes sense. So when it comes to all the apps and the filters, you can correct a lot in post, post-production, meaning after the picture has been taken, right? Yes, not necessarily here though, but uh, I can speak on that for hours, but. Right. Um, <laughs> If, if, with raw files, you have a lot of latitude to, re, to correct a lot. But a, most people don't shoot in raw. They exactly just, right. they just, just point and shoot. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. So manage light. That's the, probably That's the, the biggest key. tip. I think so. All right. Well, Chris Austin, don't forget, he has calendars all over the city. You can always get his calendar. And boy, you can always buy his work like this. It is really spectacular. You see it really all over everybody's Facebook page. It gets shared a lot. Thank you for coming in. This was good information. Thank you. Really. I appreciate good it. Good to see you. Brad, let's send it over to you. All right. Gorgeous day for pictures. I tell you what, I love the